Hey Pisces, welcome back to Deku Tarot. So we're gonna be doing your September 2019 love and romance reads. This is gonna be for singles and couples um, for the entire month of September. So we're gonna just take a look at how love and romance will be going for you guys. I know I said I probably wouldn't do it, but then I don't know, I get a really strong calling today to do yours first, which is really weird. So, cause it is not your season, but we do have a full moon coming up in your sign on the 14th. So maybe that has something to do with it. Regardless, um, whenever I get called to do a sign first, like very strongly, the messages are usually extremely strong. So we'll see what this brings up. Right now, um, we're gonna be using the Morgan Greer Tarot. We'll see if we'll switch it up. I'm sure we will. Um, do check out your September 2019 general readings. I don't know if I'll end up doing some mid-month check-ins, probably, I guess. Um, but definitely check those out, guys. Really powerful messages this month. I realize that this is quite off-kilter looking, and um, it's because I stupidly put it in the dryer, not reading that part over here where it says oh, it's all cotton, and it shrunk, and now it's extremely tilted so we're just gonna deal with it okay <laughs> um alrighty pisces so it's for pisces sun moon rising and venus as you guys know definitely be sure to like share and subscribe if you haven't guys um i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers all of my supporters i really do appreciate you guys i have a lot of pisces that i read for i have a pisces midheaven myself which <sighs> makes me quite pisces in a lot of ways honestly but let's see <clears throat> Pisces, love, romance, relationships. We're going to uh, focus on couples first, actually, I've decided. And um, for couples, we're actually going to use the Hobbit deck then. So I want to use, for some reason, the Morgan Greer really wants to be used for singles. I don't know, that deck is being extremely particular today, so we're just going to go with it. <laughs> it, like, has its own... It has like, it has its own plan for the day. It like wants to do these things and wants to do those things. So we're gonna roll with it that way. <laughs> but all right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces couples, what are your messages for love? What will be happening in terms of our love lives for those Pisces that are in relationships that are coupled for September, 2019? Starting at the beginning of the month. Ooh, Five of Swords. There's a lot of, um kind of annoying stop and go energy to this month okay okay pisces couples pisces couples those that are in relationships married monogamous we could be having some really explosive fights six of swords some of you guys could be leaving relationships because you just can't seem to get on the same page um i think that some of you guys might even be realizing that we are not aligned in our goals you know, with our partner here, we have different goals and we're really not aligned. Some of you guys might really passionately be leaving a relationship and being like, bye, see ya, goodbye. It's kind of like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the fighting. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of all this other shit. Like, it's done. Like, we're out. Goodbye. Um, for some of you who really just, you know, like, I don't want to leave this relationship. We're not breaking up. We're not separating, whatever. I think that there is the possibility for new beginnings, but we're going to have to really smoothly sort of move past whatever big fights we had at the beginning of the month. I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, in the first few days of September, it's been pretty awkward, you know, it's been weird. The third um, had, God, and forgive me if I'm wrong, because I can't always remember all the astrology, but, you know, the second, the third has Mercury, Mars, and the sun really meeting here. I think that was like yesterday because I'm reading this on the 4th actually. And it really boosted our communication and relationships. But because today now on the 4th here we're bringing um, a lot of confusion into the relationships and partnerships here. Because Venus is opposing Neptune. Um, it's a little bit... It doesn't have to be bad but it does bring in a lot of... It does bring a lot of fantasy energy here and there's a need to tread lightly because people are sensitive um, and this is really not a time to make big decisions. So there's a lot of sensitivity and weirdness and, you know, needing to tread lightly because even though it feels like, you know, things where we had a little bit of breakthroughs, you were able to communicate maybe even a day before this, it feels kind of awkward right here. So there could be fights because we're believing one thing and maybe it's not really sitting in reality with our partner here. Or we're wanting to totally indulge in fantasy and maybe they're like, okay, no. 
Um, let's see where this is all going though towards middle end of the month here for you coupled Pisces for love as we go into Libra season. And I feel like this is around your full moon here. So you have full moon in your sign on the 14th. And that's a really deeply sensitive, very perceptive um, full moon, especially for you guys. There's a lot of creative and spiritual growth there for you, really. Um, let me get a sip of coffee. Hold on one second. I feel like I'm going to cough. <laughs> but... This is a very relationship focused month for you, I'm getting. And again, the 14th is really bringing the spotlight back to you and how you feel. Um, it's really, again, a great time to release emotions, to say what you have to say, to put that out there. Finally, I know what I need to say. I know how I feel. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. So there's a lot of stop and go, like I was saying, you know, red light, green light, red light, green light. What is that Kendrick Lamar song? Um, does that i can't think of it right now the name of it but you know it's like red light green light red light green light hey can you imagine like stopping and going all month well that's how life and feelings kind of are this month and we're just gonna have to roll the punches here but around our new i'm sorry not our new moon i keep calling it a new moon the full moon here um in your sign on the 14th i think there's a lot of okay, I think I know how to deal with this energy. I think I can, you know, solidify how I'm feeling. It's not so much stop and go and all over the place. And I feel this way today and tomorrow I'm feeling upset. And you know, this is what's going. It's very much a much more relaxed position. I feel like it renews you guys. So towards the end of the month, where are we at for couples in terms of love here? Seven of swords, whoa. Okay, so are we gonna need some clarifiers? Yes, obviously. Um, let me make sure that this is all aligned because now that this thing is not aligned, I don't know what a straight line is anymore. I don't think I ever knew what a straight line was anyways, but especially not <laughs> with the way this thing looks right now. Um, so let's see, five of swords, the tower for a couple of Pisces here. Again, it just feels like some explosive fights here, the Empress, that have to do with money, have to do with home, have to do with, um, when you get the Empress there, that's interesting with the Five of Swords, the Empress, the Tower, a mother could be involved, another woman could be involved, or really just feelings of love and security. Am I really getting enough? Are we giving enough? Um, it could also be, again, it had, could really just have to do with money. Maybe you've been paying for things so the other person has. Um, the Empress talks about all those abundant things are also, she's very much all about that ability to really open our hearts in love unconditionally. So it's interesting that we see her this way because when it's um, with the Five of Swords, the Tower, it's weird. You know, we're trying to bring a harmony into our love life, yet it feels like we're not either communicating very well. Um, I don't know. It's like the root of our feelings here are we're trying to bring love into this. We're trying to cultivate love. But the tower, the six of swords, the five of swords, it's either not coming across right. Um, because either, again, the other person might not be on the same page. We're not really in alignment. Things feel kind of fantasy. Like, oh, you know, there's just love and it's going to be fine. It's like the other person's like, no, this is reality, Pisces. And reality says it's not okay. Um, the tower, six of swords for coupled Pisces. The saying, yeah, five of cups. We might, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of miscommunication, a lot of issues in terms of, you know, how do we move past these issues? How do we move past this fight? And you guys are like, oh, like, I thought I could just do this, or I thought, you know, I could bring you the flowers, the love. It's like, no, whatever you may have started off here in terms of a fight, I don't think that you mean anything by it or anything, but it's like how the other person takes it, how the other person hears it, and it's just kind of destructive like they're like wow i can't believe we like talk about this i can't believe we feel this way there's just something here that just feels totally out of alignment like they're shocked or something i just want to pull a more clarifier for this like why this is such a disruptive energy because you guys don't seem to see it as highly disruptive and dis yeah the empress somebody might have said you know like or not said but like thought not somebody whatever the other partner is sorry about that i'm like not somebody this is couples like you know who this person is but 
it's kind of like you're taking a stand you're feeling empowered and the other person might feel very uh, you know not very much at ease about that type of energy about how you feel about it about how you're approaching this so it's kind of again it just feels you know you're coming at this with the emperor and the empress here you know everything's perfect everything's wonderful we're in alignment every you know this is the perfect pairing we have the emperor and the empress together so how can we get back to that because right now we're fighting and we're fighting because of the tower six of swords so what's that ace of wands where is this leading to so again there's just this there's fights there's probably one really big fight that kind of tears down again are we in alignment are we going towards the same goals here i thought we were but it seems you know even though we're emperor empress you know it, does, it feels to me like we're not in alignment with you know where we want this to go with where we see this relationship going where we want it to go six of swords ace of wands some of you yeah okay the king of wands some of you guys might um let me get another clarifier actually king of wands ace of wands four of swords might have to do with fire sign but i don't like to get too focused on that you know six of cups there is again the ability to communicate better to move on from this right around your full moon that's what i'm getting here um because the king of wands he communicates very clearly he's confident we have the confidence here to just be like you know like there is love there is passion there is there's something to us here and we're going to be okay and the six of cups is you know coming back into reconciliation ace of wands four of swords you know things are feeling a lot more relaxed here and i really like that so um it's interesting to me though that king of wands he's saying something to me but um overall the king of wands is very much about having that confidence having that fiery as he's i mean he's really a lot about comp you know oh my god what is wrong with me communicate i was in combination communication here um taking center stage moving forward with confidence the omens are very good with this influence here so we can move on from this but we have to be willing to you know Say, state how we're feeling clearly be confident about it be like this is what i want this is where i'm going so maybe if you want to move if that's what this really boils down to is you want to move you want to do something here um you're seeing life in one way like oh i want to do this with my career i want to move here then maybe it's not meshing with your partner here you guys are on different paths about it but it's time to say you know well this is what i want this is what i need and i love you um but you have to support me and i'm going to support you as well but like this is my desire this is my dream this is what lights my fire and i don't feel wrong about that i thought we were in alignment here so i'm wondering why i'm having a hard time communicating to you about this how do we move past you know this discrepancy and that's like they finally listened to her like oh, okay i see i see i see you know you have mastered your lesson so far and it's like they just weren't seeing it because again people are weepy emotional kind of again with all that stop and go energy of virgo season it kind of feels awkward let's get one more for the seven of swords and we'll be all set here seven of swords by the month what do we not know there's something sneaky there something stinks in the state of denmark <laughs> two of cups it's good though love is there seven of swords two of cups it's all good okay we have love it's all it's gonna be fine whether you know we might not be able to see it with all this fighting energy and all the nastiness there but there is real love there's alignment we're coming back into this it's going to be okay whether you can see it or not this person you know it feels to me like we're stepping up in terms of love honestly they're supporting us we're back in alignment things feel good even if we're a little bit afraid four of swords seven of swords it's like things come at ease but they also feel like eh, is it gonna be okay it's gonna be okay yes it's gonna be okay all right, so Pisces couples, those are your messages. Let me pull a romance angel for you. We'll be on our way. Pisces, um, sorry, if I say Pisces singles, those are Pisces couples. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to Pisces singles. Pisces couples, messages for love and romance. Why is your reading so intense? I feel like it's gonna be so much more intense than everybody else's. Let's get your full moon this month or something. It's gotta be that. Couples getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves, your 
to each other, your bond deepens. Again, there seems to be reveals that come to the other person as like the tower when you tell them that. It is safe for you to love though. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We can heal this again, but we need to open our heart. We need to be honest. We need to be truthful. No matter, you know, what the other person comes up with or says or, you know, how they react, be yourself, be true to what you want and what you need in this relationship right now, okay? They will come back into alignment. They will see things from your perspective. You are not doing anything wrong here in my opinion so let's see um let's move on to pisces singles now pisces singles all right your messages have been um how do we say intense with this morgan greer deck they really wanted to be used hold on one second left a card over there <laughs> i was like this doesn't feel complete i turned around there was a card over there um and so that's okay all right good thing we didn't start yet pisces singles let's see for the month of september 2019 september 2019 pisces singles how will love and romance play out for pisces singles beginning of september here Oof. okay 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 and where is <laughs> okay all right can we like chill guys okay seven of swords for it's just like i knew that this was going to be an intense reading i knew it was going to be you guys because pisces couples didn't seem that bad i was like what's going on with pisces singles this is going to be a mess isn't it <laughs> and yeah it is we have the sneaky fox card He's reversed, so there is quite a reveal. Something is coming out. Like I said before, we saw the Seven of Swords upright in the other reading, but it wasn't bad. So for me, this really this really feels like something stinks in the state of Denmark. For real. Not like I was joking in the last reading when it really was good. This really does feel hmm. I have no word. So let's see. Love and romance around your full moon. What's happening? What's going on around the full moon in Pisces? Three of Wands. Nine of Cups. Okay, I like it. I like it. And by the end of the month here, by Libra season for a single Pisces. Five of Swords reversed. Okay, she's showed up in both the single and the couple reading, isn't she? She's around. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Taurus or it's got Taurus energy. Um, Uranus is in Taurus and it's been making some, it will be making some very loud um, trines <laughs> um, this month, but they're not bad. They're bringing a lot of unexpected, sudden change pretty much for the positive. So let's pull some clarifiers here. Clarify three of swords, four of cups for Pisces singles. For me, like I was saying um, in the couple, and I'm sure you guys skipped it if you're not a couple, but at the beginning of the month, we have these, um, we have some interesting things around. I mean, today's the fourth. So September, this feels very much like the very beginning of the month here. September 3rd, yep, there's the clarifier. We're focusing very much on we have a very nostalgic feeling. We're also really focused on a heartbreak with somebody that we really want to get back together with from the past here. Um, for some of you, for a lot of you, whoever is resonating with this really. Again, if you don't resonate with this, don't take it. Go check out your reading for your Venus sign. Definitely check out your September reading. But um, yeah, some of you guys are really heavily focused on a situation from the past that brought you a heartbreak. Why didn't this work out? Why couldn't it work out? Why did this person leave me? Why did they hurt me this way? Um, there's a lot of stagnation in our growth here and our inability to incorporate change in this heartbreak. Nothing seems to work. You guys have tried to move on from this person, this situation, and it just doesn't... You're like, I can't. Like, I can't. It's four of cups, seven of swords reversed. And like I was saying at the beginning of the month here, September 3rd, Mercury, Mars, and the sun... Um, really are all meeting there, boosting communication for relationships, for love there. But the day after, which is today, the fourth, it brings a lot of confusion because um, Venus is opposing Neptune. It's like, okay, 
it's all fantasy. Where like it's it's and you're in your up in your head. You're all in these fantastical emotions. These are all about your you're all in your feels and in your head here. In your feels in your head. <laughs> so we're really not as you can see. There are no pentacles here, and only grounded energy is really the empress, and she still embodies. You know, yes, she's Earth Mother. You know, as I would consider her. You know, Mother Earth or Taurus energy, the ability to create. But there is. She does still incorporate all other elements as well of the queen. So you really don't have much earth here. <laughs> and, and when you don't find earth in a reading, we're really in our head, we're really in our feelings, especially when it's all cups and swords. And yeah, there's a couple mods there, but these are all cups and swords. Let's be real. Um, so let's see. Four of cups, seven of swords reversed. Clarify what that is. Some of you guys could be trying to reach back out to this person. To see where things go. Um, clarify four of cups, seven of swords reverse. Four of cups, seven of swords reverse. It's almost like you decide to go for I don't know, ten of pentacles comes out. This is weird. I mean, not weird, because I think you guys know exactly what this is. But, again, like I said, there's a lot of red light, green light this month. A lot of stop and go, red light, green light, red light, green light. Um, and it's really just the astrological energy. So things are like feeling intensely. I have to do this. I have to push this out. I need to tell somebody. I need to do something about it. I'm feeling so weird. And then it's like, stop again. And then go again. And then stop and then go. And you're like, what is this energy? Like, I don't know how to deal with this. So let's look here at seven of swords reverse. I really want to see what this reveal is about. Ten of pentacles there. This to me feels like this is the only person I want to be with. I can't move on from this. I want this. This is what I want. I've decided. And I'm going to hold on to it while my heart in Pisces. I have to say, in my experience with Pisces, and I have a lot of Pisces in my life, um, for whatever reason, I just think Taurus and Pisces, Aries and Pisces get along really well. And I have a lot of those placements. And so thus, all my best friends are Pisces. You guys have this thing. And let's not pretend like we don't. Um, where you can hold on to feelings for years and you can hint at them and pick at it and do this and do that, but you're not really saying how you really feel to that person or that situation. You're not giving it the chance to really take off because you're, I don't know if it's fear or if it's, you know, if I run away from it, it can never hurt me, but it seems to me they could hurt you here. So let's not run away. And I feel like I have to tell you guys that every month, just because you run away from a problem doesn't mean that it, it's going to run away. doesn't mean that it disappears. Like it's still there. It'll be there and it will come back. You will have to deal with it. So seven of swords reversed. Okay. Justice reversed. Yeah, when I see justice reversed, it's weird because I don't always get this message. But when I see justice reversed, especially when you get a page, not a page, but a knight of cups here um, next to it, which just popped right out. Um, there's sometimes a reveal of what we've been holding back. What we have been keeping a brave face about keeping balance within ourselves. It's kind of like, to me, this feels like a burst forth here. Like all of a sudden, you know, um, I'm imagining or seeing in my mind's eye here. What is it? Like when a dam breaks. Is the Hoover Dam that broke? Don't make fun of me if I don't know this off the top of my head. I don't know everything. But um, it's kind of like when the dam breaks here. It's like all of a sudden water starts spurting up and you're sinking. Like it's going down. Like you can't keep up a boat that is filled with holes because you left those three swords in it if you start pulling those swords out and you start trying to do something about it you know you take your swords here you try to leave you're pulling them out of the boat there's a reveal everything has to come out you know we were sinking there's no <laughs> and it's not like it's a bad thing because sometimes you guys need to say what you need to say here it needs i feel like there's a lot of things happening this month that are kind of forcing you to confront your feelings this is a very relationship focused month for you three of wands nine of cups Knight of cups what's this leading to i love what's happening here around your full moon it feels like around your full moon is when we're finally able to kind of put some closure and good energy towards love towards partnerships yeah three of cups maybe we feel complicated because it's a third party situation and we're hoping for the best but we've been expecting the worst but this month it feels like no i want to make this happen i don't care what it takes five of swords reverse the empress what's happening there for pisces singles at the end of the month the love and romance too many cups 
cards all face down. Okay, five of wands reverse. I feel like you guys are, are gonna stop fighting. What does that mean? All these fives reversed. You get five of wands and five of swords reversed. We've had a loss of a battle. Or we don't really wanna fight anymore. If we've been, you know, mentally fighting our feelings, what's the same? What's this lead to with the Empress? Need to get a card here. Come on, give me a card. Five of swords, five of bones. Okay. <sighs> Not this many, guys, please. Okay. I'm sorry, that was so many. I'm gonna have to do it again. Five of swords, five of wands, so first. The Empress, I just feel like you guys aren't fighting your feelings anymore. We're gonna go for it. And I feel like there's, yep. Oh, these cards are too much today. Um, getting a lot of cards <laughs> for you guys. More even so than the couple. I think some of you are like, I don't care. I'm gonna do it this month. This is the, I, I can't hold this in anymore. Um, it's coming out. And I almost wanna be, I'm almost drawn to like pull a foot from a different deck for you. No, you know what? we're gonna leave it. We have a lot of cards out. Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, Five of Swords. I mean, but this double five reverse here is such an energy of just letting go of a fight, letting go of something that we've been, especially internally fought, fighting about. Or, you know, if we told anybody about our feelings about this person or this situation, they're probably against it. Right now we're being led by our heart. No, this brings me happiness. This is what I want. And that's kind of what's leading you this month here is this fantasy. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You guys are kind of known as the fantastical, the dreamer, the creative. Um, and that's fine. And it's your month for that. You got a full moon in your sign. But there is this dreamy quality of, you know, I can make it happen this month and I'm going to make it work. And so I would say let your let yourself open up to love. Let yourself say what needs to be said this month to release those feelings that you've been holding on to, whether you want to admit it or not. Oh my god, there it is, the tower. I get, but like I said, I felt like there was something else. There's the tower. Um... <laughs> the tower I don't hate this at all I love it because again it breaks down what wasn't working what wasn't in alignment and allows you if you are honest if you'd put out you know what's out there yeah it's a tower moment nothing can be changed again you know I mean nothing can be the same again nothing can be changed again of course it can we're changing it right there we're jumping out of a tower there's two people involved you know whatever you say whatever you do it's like whatever has been built up in the past, it's over now. Now it's time for a new beginning. For what in terms of love? The world. You need to bring closure. Okay. There you go. There you go. There's your damn answer, Pisces. Say what you have to say. Allow yourself and your heart to really open, to allow this love in. If you don't present love, then they'll never know it's there. And that's what you need to know this month is that you have to release this. They, they're on board. They have those feelings. This is all here. But you have to be willing to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to bring on the tower. And the tower takes down everything that was. Everything that <laughs> that you built up. You know, whatever. You know, you built up a four of, sorry, a four of cups situation here. You've, hold, you've been holding your ground on the situation for whatever reason. You've been holding back your feelings. You felt like, you know, you couldn't say it. You couldn't do it. But this is saying to let it go. Allow it to come in. The highest potential for love sometimes is the world especially when you have the two of cups like this is your greatest partner and if you ignore your feelings on this you know you're you're failing yourself here and nobody else you're not allowing it i mean all is fair in love and war so yeah maybe it is a third party situation for some of you maybe it's a friendship that you have been fighting romantic feelings for but you're realizing this month that there's no point in fighting this it's time to go for it if you really want to be with your empress and i did see the emperor too pop up behind a couple cards but i decided not to take him out and because he was just too many cards on but he showed up behind a lot of cards so what you don't know this month is that this is your perfect person and maybe this strange energy this obsessive quality that you haven't been able to let go of that you keep coming back to um even if you've you know this person has hurt you or you've thought that you've hurt them whatever didn't work out in the past whatever has been bringing you heartbreak know that you can change that and i feel like the heartbreak really comes from your inability to really tell this person how you feel and to give this thing a chance if you don't if you don't strike the lightning you're not going to get the world you're not going to get the two of cups and sometimes i mean the tower is that life-changing sex especially when you get the tower the world the two of cups some of you guys need to 
open your minds to, um, <laughs> to something not being just about that great sex. Maybe you met somebody and it's like for some, you know, had great sex or whatever and you realize like maybe there's something more there and you haven't been able to get over it and it's like, oh my god, wait, it's love. <laughs> um, it's not just life-changing sex, it's love. Anyways, you have the chance to go for it this month and I feel like this has been coming up in, in total Pisces fashion. You guys have probably known about this for, I don't know, ever and you just for some reason... I don't know why you guys don't push forward on things. People love you. They would. Everybody that I taught, that I get readings from, or I get readings, I give readings to, um, that's dealing with Pisces is always like, why can't they just, like, what, what is this? Like, why was with the go, the stop and go, the coming and going? You know, I'm into you. I'm not into you. You have to pick a side this month, and you have to be honest with your feelings and stop running. If you stop running for a second, if you stop swimming away and, you know, give in to those fantasy, beautiful, lovely emotions, you can allow yourself to have the greatest love of your life. I'm like, I feel like for some of you, this is it. And for some reason, you're running away from it. Like, every time it comes around at full speed because you're expecting the worst. All right, Pisces. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Stop trying to control your feelings. Five of swords and five of wands reversed. Stop fighting it. Don't fight your feelings. It's not right. Okay, right. All right, let's see. Oh my God. Um, separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Maybe some of you guys are separated or you have been. And that's why we're getting all that stuff in the beginning and you're wanting to. You need to stop fighting this situation even if you are separated. It's time to reach back out and see where this goes getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens you have to reveal your true feelings here um there has to be reveals sorry just the way it's gonna be all right <laughs> so anyways guys those are your messages i hope you enjoyed them pisces wishing you nothing but the best the rest of the month make sure to like share subscribe um i really do appreciate it and if you want to book a private reading for Virgo season, we got major deals going on, guys. Some major um, price cuts. So definitely check that out in the description box below if you want to book a reading. Definitely check out my Instagram where I post um, daily readings all the time. Um, I try to do them just about every day. So check them out there. Um, and definitely check out the September 2019 readings for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I know this one was a lot longer. Hopefully the other love readings won't be this long. <laughs> and they won't be dealing with as many things as you guys this season. But um all right, Pisces, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so, so much. Um, wishing you nothing but the best. Namaste.